Tak. <laughs> Hi. Copenhagen. And that is all the Danish I know. <laughs> But it's nice to be here. <laughs> so far this evening, to me, this has been a very weird dream. <laughs> I remember years ago being in my grandparents' house, and on the table there was a chocolate cake. My grandfather looked over at me and he said, Go on! No one's looking. I said, What really? He said, Go on! No one's looking. So I got up and I punched Grandma. <laughs> Tuck. <laughs> so tell me, does anyone here own a cat? <laughs> Your house stinks. Someone's got to tell them. <laughs> What else can I tell you about myself? I own a small zoo and a pirate ship, although not at the same time. I haven't got that much Lego. I was in a restaurant in Copenhagen today, and the man on the table next to me began to cough, so I ignored him. <laughs> Then he began to cough a bit more, so I still ignored him. Then he began to choke really, really badly, so I stood up and I smacked him on the back really hard. Anyway, it turns out he was just speaking Swedish. Guess what nationality the man was when I did a show in Sweden? <laughs> Recently, I did a show for the United Nations, and I started off by saying, So, where are you all from? <laughs> to be honest, there wasn't much time for anything else. I've just come back from America. Didn't think much of the film on the flight. Turned out to be an eight hour animation of a plane traveling from New York to London. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't go and see Time to Destination. <laughs> While I was in America, I really got into the culture. I went into a shop and the guy said, have a nice day. And I didn't, so I sued him. <laughs> Any students here? Yeah. Your houses stink. <laughs> the worst job I ever had was forensic pathologist for the United Nations. I remember uncovering the mass grave of a thousand snowmen. <laughs> Fortunately, it turned it out to be a field full of carrots. <laughs> I was walking along the other day, and on the road I saw a small dead baby ghost. Although, thinking about it, Might have been a handkerchief. <laughs> I think if I'd unlimited money, I'd hire two private investigators and get them to follow each other. <laughs> I wish I'd married a Russian woman, because inside every Russian woman, there's another Russian woman. My wife, she says I'm unnecessarily mysterious. Or does she?
My grandfather, he can't do what he used to do, you know, bomb the Japanese. <laughs> My other grandfather, he would never ever throw anything away, uh, but he died in the war holding on to a hand grenade. <laughs> <laughs> Snowman. <laughs> Any teachers here? Your houses stink. Can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> I leave you tonight with this. My mother, she's got to the stage now where all she does is go on about who's just died. Do you remember Muriel? She has just died. Do you remember Arthur? He's just died. I said, Mum, get off the roof and give me the gun. <laughs> That's all for me. Thank you much. Good night.